What is going on, you guys? It is your boy, Umzi, here. I am back, episode 13 of Assassination Classroom. We came off one of my favorite episodes, not gonna lie, of the first season, with it being a baseball episode. You guys know how much I love baseball. It was one of my favorite sports growing up playing. And yeah, it was a really good episode just to see everybody bonding, Sugino facing off against his former team. And it was just a fun episode overall. It was a really, really enjoyable episode. We came off that. And then the previous one, we got introduced to Itona. So I am excited to see what he finally does more in this show. So we're going into this episode. I have no idea what's going to happen. So that's just basically it for an intro. We are going straight into it. Without any further ado, if you guys are new to the channel, give us a like, my rest, and subscribe, comment down below. And if you guys want to be notified on release those videos, definitely smash that notification bell. But with that being said, let's get right into the episode. <laughs> Keep eyes on the target. Right. Don't let yourself be distracted. If you can't predict his moves, you can't... Karasma, I've been saying for like a couple episodes ago, he's really giving me some Ayazawa vibes. He really is. Take Isagai and Mayahara, for example. Chat like reflexes. When they work together, often as not, their blades hit home. Mm hmm. Close. And then there's Karma. At first blush, all sarcasm and later. Karma with two blades? I like that. The instinct of a killer. Karma's the best, man. He is. These are the standout would be assassins of the group. Don't forget Kuro Sensei, the ideal teacher, <laughs> a man of grit and character who none have the Look at the drawing, man. My interior monologue, damn it. No this is why are you interrupting my monologue? Told, the other students may have a long way to go, but they've come a lot further than I dare hope. Yep. <laughs> Whoa, Nagisa got close. He actually shoved the hell out of him. Excuse me, sir. We were wondering if you'd like to grab a bite to eat with us. Sorry, no, I'd love to, but there's still a lot of work that needs to get done. <laughs> trying to get close to the target, technically. Just trying to get close to everybody, like anybody. It's like there's a wall of ice between him and us. Yeah, don't get me wrong. He's super cool and everything, I mean. I just, I don't know. You think it's only because he has to be? Hmm. Hey, hey, Karasuma! Who's this? Another new teacher? I... Yo! Name's Akira Takaoka, and I'm here to give your tip Ta a hand. Takaoka. So what do you say? Ready to have some fun? Talent time. Are we going to have a talent show in this episode? I don't know. Oh, is that... Ooh, so many good sweets. Is that a Boston Cree? That's sort of pricey, sir. Are you sure? Yeah. Chow down, kiddos. I didn't break the bank so we could stare at these babies. <laughs> you know your way around branding sweets, don't you? Nice. Trust me, when it comes to the good stuff, it's love. Built like a truck and adorable. <laughs> Built like a truck and adorable. Can you help Mr. Karasuma get caught up? Yep, those are my marching orders from the brass at HQ. Poor guy needs some time to himself. Are you sure? <laughs> He's about to devour that damn thing. You know, sir, for being colleagues, you and Mr. Karasuma are night and day. He's nice to us and all, but you're like the neighborhood dad. <laughs> he does. Hmm. He's giving me some fat gum vibes now. I don't know why I'm only thinking about my hero right now. But he is. I don't know. Things are going to be tougher than usual, but stick it out like the champs I know you are, and we're talking more sweets. For us? Or are you really just saving them for yourself? Nope, nope. Don't want to ruin this girlish figure. <laughs> this is cool. I like it. A few moments later... What? Whoa! Okay then. Along with your what? <laughs> what? Schedule. What the hell? What? No way. We have ten periods. Uh, you want to talk about night and day? Idea, little grasshoppers. Hold up, hold up. This is ridiculous. First off, this is school. We got to think about grades too. I mean, yeah. come on, we can't go by this. When are we supposed to stop? <laughs> oh fuck! One, we don't do games. <gasps> Damn! We're a family, and I'm the dad. Show me a family where dad ain't in charge, and I'll show you a family. Oh no! I I compl completely no. You send in replacements for the whole class. That said, I'd much rather see you stick it out. I regret everything I just said. The thought of losing even one of them breaks his heart. We're gonna save the world, kids, and we're gonna do it as a family. There are two essential ingredients needed to earn loyalty. Oh my God! And fear. Well, you're gonna do everything Father tells you to. Huh? Uh, I actually don't 
actually, sir, to tell you the truth. Uh oh. I'm not much for PE. Oh god, what is he gonna do? Don't tell me he's gonna slap the shit out of her. What is that? Oh, he did! No! God damn! The mood has just changed within the last two minutes. Good old fashioned non verbal reinforcement. Daddy Dearest will be happy to oblige. Stop it. Oh, here comes Karasima. Hey, did he twist your neck? Damn. Side to side. What about you? Uh, I'll survive. See, we're fine. Don't go getting your boxes in the water. I'm not going to go full throttle on my beloved fam. Yeah, bullshit. Except they're not your fam. Uh-oh. Oh, no. If you start harming his students. Their heads with while my back was turned. It stops now. Sorry, big guy. This isn't your class. You teach your subjects, I'll teach mine. In phys ed, I call the shots. Oh, shit. I got outside acceptable corporal punishment. I gotta train these kids to kill you. That doesn't leave me a lot of time. I don't have the luxury of going easy on them. What, are you gonna attack me? Over a dispute about education? I wanna see that. I wanna see that. I don't care for the way I teach. Oh, shit. those children body and spirit holy shit what a change in a character ability dictates i let him teach as he sees fit bet this really grinds your gears karasuma me stealing these kids out from under you you were always top dog of our old brigade okay damn about what i could do let half of these snot nosed punks be pulverized if i can shape the other half into octopus killing warriors it'll be me reaping the glory when the deed is done You'll be Dude, his wow! I was not expecting this within the first couple minutes. Three hundred squats. Three hundred squats. Mr. Karasuma, please. Watch it. Oh shit. Karasuma ain't part of our. Look at the freaking shadow! Disrespecting Daddy makes him very angry. No, he's not. I was about to say you ain't about to do that. If you hurt these kids. Let's do it. Ah, there it is. Here's what I propose. Jerry, what? pick your star pupils out of the students you've trained by your methods. Set them on me, and if their knife so much as grazes my aura, I'll concede that the way you train... Can we have... E is, is, is Itsuna an option? What the hell does he have in the bag? We won't be using these, though. Oh, God. <laughs> when the object is to kill a human being... You can't rely on toys, so we'll be using the real McCoy. I don't know what to say. This is ridiculous. These kids aren't prepared to take down a real human being, and you know it. Don't get all concerned, citizen, on me. They ain't gotta kill nothing. Just come close. This and might be the craziest like character they've brought in so far. Head. I'm being real. This little trick works beautifully in the big leagues, too. Take a fresh-faced recruit wielding a blade for the first time, pummel the poor bastard within an inch of his life unarmed, and bingo. Instant alpha dog status. Oh my god. What are you waiting for? Pick yourself a champion, or save us But this is completely different. <laughs> you gotta get, you gotta go karma. That's number one, but I don't know who else. How could I put one of these kids on the spot? Come on, you know who to pick. You know who to pick. Where's he at? Where's my boy at? Huh? Whoa! What? Wait, are you kidding? I may not be much of a father figure, but I appreciate your dilemma. Hmm. So if you don't feel comfortable, you don't have to take up the knife. Damn, but that's that's his teachers is to prepare you for life. Not force you into a kicking and screaming. That's still like respectfully getting called out by Karasima though. My own family can't even do that. Really? There must be so much he's not allowed to tell us. And I can't imagine why he's choosing me. Yeah. But. Gotta go with it. Gotta try. If he sees fit to hand me the knife. Mm -hmm. I'll trust his decision and take it. Either way, Takaoka is out of control. Somebody has to do something. I'm your guy. All right. Oh, come on, this twig. All right. This may be a character moment right here. I don't know. Possess that dumb bastard to pick him. This is going to be a train wreck. Karasma must see a lot in him. You'll see. 
Man, what a like what a character switch. What a time to school these kids in the art of real humiliation. Oh my god. Let's see. Okay. This is bound to be This is probably got to be one of the most serious episodes we've gotten so far. Finally, I've been waiting for something like this. One strike. I just need one strike. We don't know how his methods are. I just, need to kill him. I just need to kill him. So give him a smile. Walk towards him calmly. Totally nonchalant. Like a mom. Slit the leg. What? <laughs> Whoa! Okay, I was about to say. That's right. You're about to die. Try to get as close as to your target as possible and then strike. Even Deceive. Deception is definitely number one that I take with Nagisa. Oh, damn. Wow. Congrats. Karma must be proud. Karasma must be proud. Son of a bitch! Oh yeah, death from the grenade. Springing on them like a python. That explains the chill I got from him earlier. Yeah. Goes beyond the instincts of a killer. Nagisa isn't a normal boy. He's a natural born assassin. Natural born. Should I nurture a gift like his, or shut it down? No. Wait a second. Was I supposed to use the back of my knife? <laughs> Thank you. Game set and <laughs> what a moment. Easy guys, let's not make a big deal out of it, okay? I just did what Mr. Karasama told me to, that's all. <laughs> Ow, what was that for? Sorry, uh I needed to make sure that was you. <laughs> bruh, <laughs> so bruh. Come on. Oh god, he's pissed. Grateful punks. You think it's fun shaming your father figure, huh? Having the time of your lives pretending Somebody's got to put him down. Somebody just Daddy's about to rip you apart. Mind, body, and soul. <laughs> Not gonna lie. If we went for a round 2, I'd lose. But I'll tell you something. Whatever you do, you're not the boss of us. Ooh. Mr. Karasama is our PE teacher. There you go. That's all there is to it. Mr. Karasama may come off as all business. Yeah. But he treats us as equals. Yep, respect. He's approachable, he's cool, and he's got nothing to prove. Thanks for trying, but he's the class dad. Damn. I don't think anybody's defied his orders or defied him in general. But damn, that's how it is. To teach his Hell no! <laughs> confidence in us a student confidently answers a question you yourself were troubled by and that's only the beginning to teach is also to confront such answers he's so he's about to blow a gasket well of their confidence in us. Karasuma with a back elbow taking him out <laughs> damn don't give him another thought I'll negotiate with my superiors to put things back the way they were wow Mr. It's going to take more than that to be done with me. You'll get this job over my dead body. That won't be necessary. Azuna. I trust you'll forgive the intrusion, everyone. Oh, shit. I came to see our new hire in action. And it must be said, your methods are nothing short of a travesty. Oh. Granted, fear is the engine of education. But a teacher able to instill fear only through violence is nothing but a brute. Damn. Okay, I don't want this Tokyo Ghoul type shit. Damn. does not call the shots here, and I intend to keep it that way. This is my school and my school alone. Remember that. Hmm, Azuna actually doing something that I actually agree with. I thought he was going to attack him. Wow, what an episode. Does that mean Mr. Karasum is back to being our gym teacher again? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I see the principal's confident as ever in his methods. That makes one of us. That makes one of us, yeah. 
Every teacher secretly frets over whether the path he sets his students on is the right one. But he points the way to the best future he can see for them. Yeah, all they can do is try. Wrong or often open ended. We ask them, but the students must live their own answer. Mm -hmm. The pleasure of seeing them do so is what makes this job exhilarating. <laughs> it all depends on man. They could only they could only do so much and lead you to where they need to. We kind of got your job back for you at all. Maybe we've got something in the way of a little thank you coming. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Takaoka would have given us a bunch of sweets for being so good. Well, now, I'm not much of a connoisseur. I'm not much of a connoisseur. What? <laughs> all right, then. <laughs> wow, this is really crazy, though. But this is a really, really good episode to showcase the students and Crossman together. Like, man. Oh my, look at him. Look, look at him. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! Definitely one of the most serious episodes we've gotten so far, and let's get right into it. When I said fat gum, uh, I think I meant to say overhaul, because oh my god, there were so many moments in here with the lighting in here, just reminded me of overhaul and possibly any other character I could think of. But my god, I was not expecting this character to be like that. It was such a 180 in the beginning of this episode. Oh, he's giving them treats and shit. Oh, he has this nice persona and like, oh, this father-like persona. Nope, literally. Oh my God, when Karasma saw that photo of the people getting brutalized, oh my God. This is kind of what I've been waiting for a little bit, so to say. This is one of the most serious episodes that we've gotten with so far, and I'd say that Takaoka has probably got to be one of the craziest characters that has been introduced so far into this show. I don't think that he will come back into this show. Then again, I'm not sure, but he's definitely one of the craziest. Like, no, I... I Th this character was the personification of what the fuck. To have a 180 character change like that in this episode was absolutely crazy. And to, like, I, I was honestly scared for them students. I was so goddamn scared. He need that one dude in the chest and then he slapped the hell out of Kinsaki. Like, oh my God, this character. I just, I, I was speechless mo like mostly throughout the first half of this episode. I, I literally did not know what to say about it. And it threw me for a loop so hard. I literally didn't have anything to say. But a couple things that I will say about this episode, definitely Nagisa. Nagisa has definitely had a lot of really good moments now really thinking about it back then. Cause the first episode, yes, he went for the almost the exact same strat a little bit, jumping into Koro Sensei with having the grenade around his neck and eventually confronting those bullies at the school series ceremony which another really really good moment i think that he probably took that from karma i think that's what i said a couple episodes ago as well he got me some real karma vibes from that but nagi says really had some good moments starting off and i'm very very excited to see what more he's gonna do in this show and yes maybe he will turn out to be one like probably the best assassin coming out of this class i don't know about karma just karma to me is like yes i know he doesn't care but at the same time he's really good at what he does and he gives off that vibe so maybe in the future prediction that Nagisa's maybe gonna learn off of Karma just a little bit and really just take his persona and then mix it with Kuro Sensei's teachings. I think you got a badass assassin, man. I really think so. Maybe Itona in this, like in this show, maybe with Nagisa, but I we still don't know really what his kind of motive is and just if his motive is entirely maybe gonna be just oh, just trying to kill like Kuro, like Kuro Sensei the entire time in this show. But I have no idea. I, I can't tell the motives for any other single character going on for the future. I'm not sure, but it was really good once again to see Karasuma just giving off those kind of Aizawa vibes, really. And I say that because it's definitely that teacher and student mentality where the students really do respect him. They respect him. And even though he's really much of a to himself type of guy, like he really does what he can to help out these kids. Like he really, really does along with Kuro Sensei. And yeah, all that Karasuma and Kuro Sensei can do is just tell them the right way that they think they should go. But at the end of the day, they control their destiny and they control where they go. Like they are the ones that make that decision so it, it it's all up to fate really that's all i can really say it's all up to fate so man what a serious ass episode insane ass episode and we're gonna see what else is gonna happen in the future of this show and for the rest of this season thank you guys for watching my reaction you guys are excited for the rest of assassination classroom and you guys like the channel let's subscribe comment down below and as always my name is omzi and i am out